Guys, I apologize for some of the static you might hear later in this video. Uh, the, audio, the audio might come across a little bit staticky, uh, but I, I know what's causing that and I, I've gotten it fixed pretty much, so it uh, shouldn't be a problem in the future, so I apologize that the recordings in this video do have it. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take away from the video too much. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, here, I'll go ahead and get started. Hey guys, what's up? Bisectedron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with my next live on battle day video and it's been a little while since I've done this series um, and it's right at the end of the war we have well three town hall tens left and I think the other two attacks are from the one of our nines who might I don't know have some problems with his account or just as busy something came up but whatever um, but either way we have three tens attacking in the last 18 minutes now I'm gonna do my best to show all of them but it's like really competitive as far as getting into these because there's so many people on wanting to see these live three star attempts. Everything's been two starred, all the other ten, so it's all about three stars at this point. This war is already won, but should be fun anyway to see these live attacks. And I'll be on my game and hopefully I'll be able to catch these live if I'm quick enough and if I get in. Because uh, there is a max amount of spectators, but we'll see. Uh, so stay tuned, I'll be right back hopefully with an attack. All right, here we go. Just got, uh, just hit the button for chaos. He's going in. Um, should be a fun attack. Trying a three star here. Um, I was actually expecting someone else to go in, but here goes chaos. Um, dropping down the queen for a queen walk. Create a little funnel on the right side with the army camp there. Uh, gonna let her start walking up north. Um, I think this base has been scattered a few times, so I, I believe I've seen this queen walk before, has an idea what's going to happen, uh, but hopefully we can get it done here. His heroes aren't max, only a 30 king, 39 queen, so uh, going to be difficult, but has a shot here. Uh, drops a hog down, that's going to get a partial lure on the CC. Uh, it's a bunch of trash in there, so you know, by trash, you know, minions, archers, small troops. Um, and they, A few archers are on his healers, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. There's that one archer kind of taken out a healer, but it's going to take a while for it to even do anything. Um, <clears throat> drops down a giant, few wall breakers, opening up that first compartment there. Uh, there's the rest of the CC, has one more poison for it if he needs it. Uh, good uh, thinking by putting that minion down to take out the archer. Um, another dra That dragon's on the healers. That's I've seen that a lot this war, I don't know why. Uh, but the queen's going to get that dragon before it can do much damage to the healers. So all good there, he has not lost any healers yet, I don't think. Um, Queen can continue walking. The expo is now on the healers, uh, so might lose a healer there. But uh, the queen walk's getting great value here. She'll step up, take out a few of these storages, then continue on. Um, probably gonna get into that next air defense. I think she can reach it. So all good there. Continuing on her walk. Um, not a laloon attack for the rest of it. Looks like it's gonna be a mass golem and then six balloons for where he needs it. So this should be interesting right here. Uh, wall breaker again. I like this strategy. I think it's going to work well. Should get that king down in just a moment. There goes the king. Probably a few wizards would be nice to back that up, but uh, we'll see because, you know, need some damage behind all that tanking. Uh, anyway, though, everything moving forward has the <clears throat> the uh, poison for the, or sorry, not the poison, the freeze and the rage, and then jump. The queen's rerouting back on in, so that's great. Everything's looking very nice right here. Um, First Inferno's down, jumping into the next compartment here. Uh, that next Inferno should go down to the Queen right here, so I'm liking his chances. Uh, the Queen, oh, she's going to go down to that Tesla, though. The tanking uh, was didn't get out in front enough. The Queen's going to go down. These balloons might not be enough to get the rest of the job done. Uh, that next air defense isn't going to go down, so yeah, this is not going to be a three-star. Um, you can see he has a bunch of tanking left up, so... Maybe he should have invested his troop space in something like a P.E.K.K.A. or something. or Because um, I just feel like he had a lot of tanking, but just couldn't quite get the DPS behind it and couldn't take advantage of all the tanking he had. Because you can see these golems are going strong for another, you know, 30 seconds after after that last golem just busted. So uh, definitely had some tanking, just couldn't quite take advantage of it. And right here, it's going to be a high percentage two-star. Uh, as that archer tower goes down, he'll get a few more buildings. But that's going to be it. So nice try to Chaos. Uh, we'll tell him that. Nice try. Jelly's his real, the name of his other account that he goes by. Um, I 
I'll tell him that I caught him in the video. But anyway, yeah, nice try, try to uh, Jelly. Very nice attack here. Uh, only have six minutes left, so might as well uh, just stay stay recording because I believe we have, um, let's see, we have Mimo with an attack left. We have Atoma, um, and I believe Atoma was planning to go on soon. Uh, I think he just had a few second thoughts about something, so went back on TeamSpeak to talk it out. But anyway, it's been a great job by... Uh, Genesis. Um, you'll see this in the war recap, but uh, as far as what we've done here, we you know got all the nines three star. Or, yeah, all the nines three starred, and then uh, of the let's see five town hall tens, I believe. Yeah, of the five tens. Yeah, we have five five tens. Of the five tens, uh, we went ahead and got them two starred pretty early on. Great percentage on the two stars also. Um, you'll probably see my attack in the recap because that was went way better than I expected it to, to be honest. And then uh, you'll see some of these other Town Hall 10 three stars that have already happened by Mimo and uh, Plow on number one. So uh, really an awesome job to everyone at One Hive for this war. Um, it's up against six Schlitzes. So uh, we'll go ahead and show their uh, description real quick while we're kind of wasting time here. Um, that's how you can apply that to the YouTube, the Feeder Clan, all that stuff right in there so um anyway they used all 70 of their attacks and they got kind of the standard stuff um all the town hall tens two starred and high percentage two stars they just couldn't quite uh get into the three star in the town hall tens which is difficult and it's something that uh, a clan really has to practice and work towards because it starts with the nines going up there and scouting and then it kind of goes into the uh tens uh using what the nines gave them to do their best to uh, convert that into a three star with their higher level troops. But we actually had um, a number four, the original scout actually almost got a three star. It was actually not that far from it. Ended up being like 85%. But uh, like I said, Town Hall 9 is kind of imbalanced right now. And it's even pouring into the fact where Town Hall 9s with a good plan can get close to three starring kind of a lower level Town Hall 10. So. Um, hopefully we'll see some balancing in the new update like I've been saying anyway though um, still waiting on two attacks I might go ahead and just cut through this uh, just to speed things up a little bit um, but yeah I'll be right back alright guys I'm back and I'm sorry as soon as I cut away Mimo went in live and I did miss the beginning of it uh, but you guys are gonna see uh, everything else just missed the beginning he made a funnel started off his queen on a queen walk Dropped a few hogs to take out a defense, get the CC lure. Queen's and continue on her walk, has a rage to keep her up as she deals with the CC troops and the point defense. Um, awesome placement on the poison right here. That balloon's going to go down to the poison. Uh, right there, drops a wizard just to speed things up, help out with that. Um, kind of fun here. You guys are seeing some diversity at the Town Hall 10. Not, you know, strictly La Loon attacks, but um, some mass golems, some balloons. I guess their bases were just kind of susceptible to it. Their air defenses are kind of deep inside the base. But anyway, Mimo uh, busts into that first little compartment. That queen's going to get in there, take out uh, some, some of these defenses. Then comes in with the golems, a jump spell, a few wizards creating the funnel up top. I believe he'll drop the king in just a moment. And then we'll see what's in the CC. I'm not sure what's in there quite yet. Uh, but everything's looking really nice here. The queen should take that jump with the kill squad and continue to move forward. Healer's still keeping them up. The Infernos are kind of far away, so ooh, that queen got really low right there. Pops the ability. Uh, good thing he did it there because the queen was super low and couldn't afford to lose her if he has, if he wants to have any chance of three-star in this base. But uh, looks like the queen actually did go down finally. Uh, so yeah, but the king is still up. Pops the ability. He'll at least get the Inferno taken out. And then I'm not exactly sure what the plan is for the back half of this base. Has the balloons, but... Doesn't really have anything to let his golems or his king into the next compartment. Looks like a lava hound, actually. So kind of a very, very uh, small laloon on the back of this base. But that lava hound's going to get eaten up pretty quickly. And uh, the kill squad, I guess, didn't get as, as much as he would have hoped. But um, sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, these balloons will go down. So another good try to Mimo as he drops in these last few loons. But uh, this didn't quite work out and uh, not going to be a high percentage 2 star once again so percentage is there um, 
that's the thing. These these three star attempts can get some pretty high percentage two stars. So it you know if you don't get it, um, they still can help within the war uh, if it's close because percentage does matter. But anyway, this war is already over. Uh, just trying to get some last three stars. We'll go ahead and back out just in case that last attack's happening um, because we do still have uh, Atoma. Still waiting on him. That should be fun. So let's go ahead and. Uh, he was the one that was saying he was going to go in like 10 minutes ago, but kind of went back on TeamSpeak, I guess, to talk about it a little bit more. And hopefully he doesn't, you know, have trouble finding his phone at the last second or something. Here we go. Uh, going on against number two. This is the base that I actually attacked, and I'll probably show my attack on it in the recap. Uh, just as a good example of a 9 hitting a 10, but um, it, it, it hasn't been scouted yet, I don't think. Like, there's not, there hasn't been any Queen Walk testing. I just got the two star using my own method, so um, doesn't have a whole lot to work off of, I guess is what I'm saying, but it's a base that can be three starred if done correctly, and right here, this is more of a traditional uh, go la loon, has the healers for the queen walk, uh, golem, probably a third lava hound in the CC, I would guess, just one golem for his push, and uh, looks like he's going to try to push the queen up north with that wizard down there that should help uh, create the funnel. Everything goes right. She should head up north right here, target that wizard tower. Uh, actually, that Tesla, then the wizard tower, and start moving up. But things are looking nice here. Uh, there's the wall breakers. Going to let her in there, get that first air defense taken out. Uh, already starting with the golem up top, so we'll see how that plays into the picture in just a moment. The queen's getting a little bit low right, right here. Might need a rage for her. Or no, that cannon went down, so just one point defense. She's going to be okay. Golem's making his way in with the wizards backing it up. Uh, here comes the king. Everything going into a nice speed here. The queen should take the jump in just a moment. Out comes the CC troops. Has a P.E.K.K.A., um, which you don't usually see that often at Town Hall uh, 10. But there is a P.E.K.K.A. The queen should take it out pretty quickly. One shot by it is not going to hurt the queen too bad. I don't even think it gets a hit off on her. The king came in here, though. I think his king did go down. Um, so, yeah, his king yeah went down. The enemy queen is not down does still have his queen up and hopefully that jump will stay long enough for her to take it right here she'll get that air defense and then she should move in and get that uh, defensive queen right there queens targeting each other yeah so the queen goes down um, now it, I'm not sure I think that's all the value he really needed the queen still up probably not gonna get the inferno though so just goes ahead and starts his air attack um, both lava hounds coming in here Deployment looking pretty solid. Has the haste spells. Should start speeding up those balloons. There they go. Um, nice freeze placement. If They should get into that first inferno right here. Yeah, first inferno is going to go down. Um, just a matter of getting to those last few. Uh, the air defense, the inferno on the backside. But this is looking really nice here. I think he might have a good shot, especially with that freeze. Oh, but he missed the air defense. Yeah, he missed the air defense, and the balloons are kind of splitting in a weird fashion. Uh, they might be able to get it, but the Inferno Tower has waken up. The Wizard Tower plus the Inferno Tower is not a good combination for the balloons. All that damage plus the Air Sweeper. So close, but doesn't quite have it. The King takes out the Queen up top. Look at how much life that King has. Like, so close. Um, oh, those balloons actually got back to the Inferno Tower. Oh my, th this was close. This was a close attack. Um, yeah. So many possibilities. You know, if the Queen had stayed up a little longer... She probably, because uh, that king is so low on health, she could have probably taken out the Inferno Tower by herself. Um, those balloons were really close too. It just ha so happened that the uh, freeze barely misses the air defense, so that kind of hurt. And, uh, you know, the, the air sweeper, the Inferno Tower, and the Wizard Tower, all kind of, you know, pushing the balloons around, getting the splash damage on them. Just wasn't a good combination, so. So close to a tome. I couldn't quite uh, show you guys a three star though. Very close. Awesome attacks by all three people who went in in this live uh, on Battle Day video. But hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you do. And uh, a war recap will come out because we do have some awesome Town Hall 10 three stars to show. Plus everything below that. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video though. Drop a comment telling me if you like this series and what other uh, series you guys want me to uh, continue doing. Because I, you know, just trying to give you guys the content you want. So yeah. See you guys in the next video, though. Bye, Sectron out.